it is, I just finished work at one. So I suppose you can officially say that I've started the reading rush. So I've spent like an hour and a half listening to it so far. The Last Bush Ranger by Mike Monroe. This so far is really good actually. So this is written from the perspective of a journalist. He finds out more about his historical past and the fact that his relative ancestors were, yeah, were part of the Kenneth game, which is like the Queensland version of Ned Kelly. I know a lot about Ned Kelly because um, it is like the Victorian Bush Ranger, which I live in Victoria in Australia. If you didn't, you know, here, there's some facts for you. <laughs> so that's something that I personally know a lot about. Well, surface level about. Whereas with this one, I do not know anything about the Kenneth gang. I think at the moment I'm about four chapters in. Yeah, four chapters in and basically giving us backstory. Bush Rangers are like cowboy of sorts. <laughs> Steal and thief cattle from wealthy farmsmen. In particular is about the Kenneth family who came over from Ireland and turned to a life of crime. Um, they actually discuss some of the ways that they got away with shit. I honestly don't know half the books that I'm reading. Dive on push up shit. Ten seconds to go.
it's so like i can't express how weird it is to read books that are set in australia because like it's like i've never really read a lot of books that like i recognize where they are so i can actually picture what they look like like visualize it i find it really interesting that they killed the cattle that they stole but instead of like getting rid of the meat or whatever they gave it to the indigenous people also, they, the indigenous people allowed them to uh, use one of their caves as a hideout. And I'm like, that is cool. But now, like, because it's from the perspective of a guy who's just finding out about his history. So he's talking about how back then they used to do that. But now he went and visited it with his son. And he's like, you can no longer go visit it now because the caves caved in. And also, there is a little bit of race-related commentary and about the, how corrupt the police were back then. So, like... And then he even had the... He even said, but not as a crop, a corrupt as they may be today. And I was like... T. Oh, picking a book. Yes, I organized my full TBR cart and I didn't even film it. So there's big gaps in my bookshelf because I took all the books that I have not read. The first books anyway of series. Series. And I put it all on here. So bottom shelf are books that I've recently read that I need to talk about. Second shelf, all the books that I need to read. Um, TBR books. Up top, this little section here is more TBR books, and these are the th three books that I'm going to read during this readathon. And this is just a word search book. So yeah, I have little Natsu from Fairy Tale here because he's pink. <laughs> now I need to organize the actual bookshelf. I need. Like the last two hours was really interesting to me um, talking about the behind the scenes of the TV show Lawless and I really want to watch that TV show not gonna lie a few like little things that like was said in the book that I really liked but like I can't really remember them simply for one I enjoyed it so that's good um, I do really like the fact that he discusses that when he met the two relatives he apologized he was like i'm sorry we never know who actually killed them but i'm sorry that it happened and i was like that's good finished a book on right on the dot at 12 o'clock